Okay, it's one o'clock. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, if anybody else decides to join, uh, we'll let them in. And this is being recorded. You can always watch this on our website afterwards. My name is Marsha Wagner. I am the Dean of Residential Programs here at St. Bede Academy. And I'm looking forward to sharing more about our school and with all of you and hopefully seeing some of you in person in the future. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get some housekeeping rules out of the way first. Let me uh, get my screen share going. So uh, please use any the chat button for any questions and we will address those later during the Q&A session. Um, again, this video is being recorded for use on our website and if you are not speaking, please remember to mute yourself, okay? First off, we do have an introduction from our superintendent, Mrs. Eve Postula. So I'll go ahead and get that started. Hi, I'm Eve Postula, superintendent at St. Bede Academy. St. Bede has a long, rich history. Founded in 1890 by Benedictine monks, St. Bede has lived and thrived in this community for nearly 130 years. The Benedictine tradition endeavors to prepare students for college and life beyond by welcoming them into a community of learning. A goal is to create lifelong learners in our students as they prepare for their next journey into college and beyond. St. Bede is located less than two hours from Chicago. We feel our proximity is a big advantage for our school as it allows students to reside and learn in a very focused and secure environment here on our beautiful 700 acre campus. Yet we're close enough to Chicago and neighboring communities that cultural and travel opportunities are also easily accessible. A goal over our rich history has been to provide students with an education that will not only develop their minds but also strengthen their character and build leaders for future years. Today, with an enrollment of nearly 275 students, both boarding and day, 98% of our graduates are attending post-secondary education. They are attending colleges and universities of their choice, and it is a goal that they uh, go on and continue their educational endeavors at colleges and universities throughout the country. Our ACT scores rank number one in our surrounding area and in our state. Nearly all of our top 10 graduates attain a GPA of 4.0 or, gra or greater by the time they graduate. We're very proud of this result and it, it's directly attributable to the engaged faculty and staff that we have here at St. B. Another important fact is that 100% of our graduates are participating in service hours in the local community. We're very proud of this and we believe it sets them up for continued community involvement beyond St. Bede. Our goal is to get students involved, to give them a well-rounded educational opportunity that builds character and prepares them with essential time management skills that will make them successful in college and in life beyond. Yeah. Okay, all right. Good afternoon and welcome to our virtual open house. My name is Michelle Mershon and I'm the principal at St. Bede Academy. I've been asked to quickly discuss our academic program. I could literally spend hours discussing this with you and if you give us a chance we'll take that time to do that. But basically our academic program is divided into three academic tiers. We have the honors AP tier, the college prep tier, and the academic tier. Just to touch about each of those tiers, uh, most of our students will fall into the college prep tier. Courses are all covered in the core subject areas, math, English, science, social science, uh, and foreign language. Um, about 25% of our students will uh, be placed in the honors AP tier. That is probably our most rigorous and challenging uh, curricular tier that we offer here. We do also have about 15% of our students that need help with skill development. They are placed typically in our academic tier. 
How do we place students in tiers? Um, we use standardized test scores, we use teacher recommendations, and we also use parent and student um, requests to do that. We know that our academic program is successful. 100% um, of our students will track from graduation in high school to either two-year or four-year colleges and universities. 100% uh, uh, acceptance rate into those, uh, into those opportunities for their future. Um, in all, we offer seven AP courses and 25 honors courses. Thank you very much for the opportunity to explain these things. Again, we'd love to have an opportunity to meet you in person and take more time um, and explain everything more thoroughly. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, next we're going to hear from uh, Mrs. Teresa Burnaby. She is our guidance counselor and a college counselor here at the school. Hi, I'm Teresa Burnaby, and I'm the school counselor at St. B. I'm here to help you and your children in many different areas. I meet with each student at least once every year, usually more, and assist them in the registration process. I encourage them to select classes that are challenging for them and will be the most beneficial for them. We're making sure that they take the courses that they need for high school graduation as well as for college admission. Beginning their freshman year, I work with students in the college and career exploration process. I help them to identify their skills and their likes and dislikes. And I assist them in the discovery of different colleges and careers that may be right for them. This can be a long process for most students and I will be here to answer their questions and provide resources for them every step of the way. When students reach their senior year, I will support them in the college and scholarship application process as well. I arrange for the standardized testing. This includes the PSAT, the SAT, and the ACT. And St. Bede is a national ACT and SAT test site. I also work closely with students who need a little extra support managing their roller coaster of feelings and emotions that comes with um, coming to high school and experiencing all these new, new changes. Whether they're adjusting to high school, social, or personal issues, I will be there to listen to them and hopefully to help them make good decisions. High school can be a big adjustment for the student and the entire family, but you can be sure that I'll be here to help you every step of the way. Good afternoon, my name is Nick McLaughlin. I am the Assistant Principal and Athletic Director here at St. Bede Academy, and I've been asked to kind of go over our extracurricular options with you. Uh, currently, we have 20 varsity sports that compete in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Uh, we have football, swimming, baseball, softball, volleyball, basketball, just a, a plethora of sports for you to, to participate in. If you like to swing a tennis racket or a golf club, we have that as well. Uh, and so a lot of different sports for you to participate in. We also have over 20 clubs and organizations uh, on campus that, that we have instituted here for you to, to feel like you can join something if you're not an athlete. We have a gaming club, we have a yearbook club, we have musicals and, and drama clubs as well. So if that's something that, that interests you and that you want to participate in, uh, we have it. And uh, you know we can put you in contact with those individuals when you get here on campus. Uh, we also have some great facilities here at St. Pete Academy uh, that we're slowly making investments in. We have a brand new track and field that opened up, I believe, in 2016. We have Abbott Vincent Gymnasium, which is, in my opinion is one of the best gyms in the state. We have a great football field. We're currently building a very nice PA booth behind our baseball field. Uh, so a lot of great things happening here with St. Pete Athletics. Uh, as always, if there's any questions or, or uh, comments that you have, you can email me or give me a phone call and I'd be happy to put you in contact with the right individual. Uh, I'm looking forward to actually being able to meet people and uh, meeting you on campus sometime soon. Okay. Um, and that's our St. Bede ambassadors could not be here in person today. So we came up with a little way to show prospective students 
um, what a day in the life of a St. Pete student feels like. So we literally strapped a GoPros to a different student every day for a week and recorded everything that they do. So um, it's kind of a fun little video and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, we're the St. Bede Student Ambassadors, and even though you can't be here for Shadow Days, we still wanted to give you an idea of what a day in the life of a St. Bede student looks like. It's starting your day speaking Spanish with Senora Gonzalez. It's enjoying our large campus with Mr. Fitzpatrick and learning about environmental science. It's diving into AP Calculus with Mrs. Cox. It's navigating the hallways and staircases while greeting friends and teachers to get where you're going. Learning about theology with Father Don. It's eating lunch and catching up with your friends. Knowing my teachers really care and are there for me when I need it. It's working out with Coach Allen. It's discovering biology in the science labs. It's finding new things to discover every day. It's being challenged to do better. We can't, can't wait, wait to, to meet you, you and, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our family. family. Like I said, uh, it's a great school to belong at. The Student Beat Ambassadors are here to help new students with whatever you need. And uh, if you get lost in the hallways, any teacher is there to uh, help direct you to the right place you need to be. Um, and because we are a Benedictine school and monastery, we do actually have monks that live on campus. Uh, some of them are your teachers and others you'll just see in the hallways uh, during the day. And Father Dom has graciously created a video for St. Bede Academy highlighting some of things that um, a potential student might want to know. So let's watch that. So, you're considering a boarding program for high school and you're looking at St. Pete Academy as one of your options. And you have questions, right? And it could be your first question is, why would I want to go to a school that's so far away from the city? It's true, St. Pete is located in a rural area, but that just means a safe, quiet, and beautiful environment where you can pursue your studies. You can take the short walk home to the boarding house after a football game without fear and study at night without the noise and traffic of more urban areas. 
but we're close enough to bigger cities for day trips, and boarders are taken to movies and shopping locally on a regular basis. Besides, St. Bede isn't just a building. It's a whole campus with a park and an orchard and playing fields, beautiful woods, even a cemetery. The environmental science class can tap maple trees for syrup and make acorn flower pancakes. The Chinese club can have kite flying events. Art and photography classes go outside for inspiration. And if the physics class wants to fire off a rocket, we've got the room to do it. You can look online for more information about our college prep curriculum, but you might be somewhat concerned about religion classes, especially if you have had little or no religious instruction in the past. Not to worry. For many years, St. Pete Academy has had a large percentage of non-Catholic or even non-Christian students. So our curriculum is designed to give you a solid foundation in scripture, theology, and religious practice, regardless of how much you learned in the past. The school is attached to a Benedictine monastery, and you'll see monks in the classroom, in the hallways, and around campus. So what are monks like? In some ways, they are exactly what you might expect of men who have dedicated themselves to God. And in other ways, they are nothing like what you might expect. You're going to enjoy getting to know these guys. No doubt you're wondering about the effect of the global pandemic. St. Pete Academy is dedicated to all the protocols recommended by the CDC, including temperature screening, careful sanitation, social distancing, and wearing masks. But we're not letting the pandemic limit our activities any more than necessary. As you can see from our annual Spirit Day, when we celebrate the special community we have, just as much like a family as a school, one that you and your parents will be proud to be a part of. And there is a lot to be a part of here. Plenty of sports for guys and gals, even if you've never played on a team before, plus a brand new strength and conditioning program to help you perform your best. Lots of opportunities in the performing arts as well, whether you're a budding actor, play an instrument, sing, or want to use your artistic talents backstage. In fact, there are over 20 student activities or clubs you can be a part of. Class is where you get your education. Extracurriculars are where you make your friends. And some of them will be your friends for life. Earlier you heard about our apple orchard, and it's an important symbol of our school. This apple blossom is you, the brand new student who has only just begun to bloom. And our job is to help you pass from bud to bloom to leafy tree, and finally, to bear fruit. This is my Father's glory, Jesus says, that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. We want to see you bear the fruit of holiness and faith, to take what you've already learned and go even farther, to overcome obstacles and setbacks and disappointments, to learn when to give help and when to accept it, and to emerge on the other side of graduation as the best version of yourself. And that best version of you is the one that shows the face of Jesus to everyone you meet, acting as his hands and voice and heart to heal the world using the gifts of the Holy Spirit you are bringing with you and that we will help you develop. And just as you see in the photo, the Academy will be the backdrop for all that future growth and achievement and fruitfulness. If you become a student here, you will come to realize what so many alumni have already discovered, that St. Bede will become a permanent part of your interior landscape the unchanging topography on your emotional and spiritual horizon. Once you've been here, no matter what direction you travel in life, when you look back, you will see the Academy as the place that sent you forth and the one that always, always welcomes you home. St. Pete Academy, it's where you belong. So, what are you waiting for?
Okay, thank you very much for watching uh, the videos and the uh, talking from our administrative team. Um, as I said, I am the Dean of Residential Programs and I handle all of the admissions for our boarding uh, students. So I do have some information to share with you regarding that. Uh, again, we are located in North Central Illinois. And one of the nice things about uh, where we are is we are perfectly located uh, in the middle of several large colleges. Um, they come to visit us right on campus to help recruit students, uh, Northwestern University, University of Chicago, University of Illinois, UW-Madison, uh, and several others are frequently on campus uh, visiting with our students and sharing information about those colleges and universities. Um, so that is one nice thing. And our proximity to Chicago and other large cities means that we often go and visit those for day trips or weekend trips. Uh, we are located on 700 acres and you can see our new track field here as well as the ball fields, uh, football, baseball, softball, um, cross country regularly runs through the here. Uh, this goes all the way back to the Illinois River. You can see a little bit in the upper left hand corner there, uh, but it is a beautiful area, nice and quiet setting. Um, boarding life, we do have separate houses for both the boys and the girls. Uh, it's a safe modern boarding house with security cameras and keypad entry on the doors. Generally, we have two students per room. Um, the students get three meals a day. All of their uh, food is provided for and included in the tuition. Uh, weekend excursions to local museums, attractions, and activities. Uh, included is also a health club membership to the local YMCA, as well as community activities and events. Um, laundry on site, uh, Wi-Fi, a TV in a lounge area for the students, as well as our boarding parents live in the houses 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In each one, um, one of the parents is actually a staff member of the school. For the boys boarding house, Mrs. Plankenhorn is the, the main administrative assistant in the main office. And in the girls boarding house, um, Mr. Barnes uh, takes care of the grounds and is the facilities uh, director for the school. Um, application materials, uh, we do require our application form, which you can find online at stbead.com, fill that out online. Uh, we do ask for two letters of recommendation, one of which must come from your main teacher, uh, grade seven through your current grade transcripts. Um, if you have taken the PSAT or the SSAT, we will accept those, but uh, it's not required for admission. We do ask that we do an online or in-person interview um, before admission. Uh, tuition costs for international students is $35,000. For domestic United States students is $25,000. And that is a very comprehensive fee that includes your room and board, um, ground transportation to and from O'Hare Airport uh, four times a year, um, support services by our guidance team, um, college planning test prep, uh, supervised cultural excursions, uh, HP Chromebook device, admission to all school events, yearbook and Spirit Day t-shirt and all of your textbook subscription fees. Um, what's not included is your uniforms, which is about $300 uh, initial um, payment, and then any uh, various extracurricular sports activities that you may need to sign up for. We do have options to make tuition more affordable, and those can be payment schedules. Um, financial assistance is available for qualifying families, and that is determined by the school's financial aid committee. Um, we're also recently approved by Sally May as one of their schools that uh, we can accept tuition loans from them. So you can use the school code listed there to apply at sallymay.com slash k12. Uh, for those uh, families that are from Illinois, the Invest in Kids Act uh, creates opportunities for um, financial need-based scholarships to use toward private school tuition, 529 plans, and um, we do offer diversity and merit scholarships based on residency and academic standing. And that's why it's so important to get those uh, prior transcripts to us when you submit your application. Um, if you have any more questions about the financial aid, you can contact me at 
mwagner at st-bede.com. Um, otherwise, uh, if they have any questions, you can also email me or call me at 815-250-0285 is my direct line, or go to www.st dash b e d e dot com uh search around on our website we've got the virtual tours on there as well as a lot of information about admissions financial assistance and uh contact information on there so um i thank you all for joining me today and uh if nobody has any questions we'll go ahead and hop off of this so thank you very much